If I ask your maybe older kids, they're pretty young now, yeah. what kind of leader is your dad? Yeah. What are they going to say? I don't know. I, uh, or was your that's, dad? That's, 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 a, that's a question that gets me a little emotional, man. Lead by Example with Bob Myers is presented for the people by Caesars Sportsbook. You bet, you get with Caesars Rewards. Must be 21 or older. Welcome to Lead by Example. I'm your host, Bob Myers. Today, California Governor Gavin Newsom. Thank you. Hey, I, you brought a guy with a tie. I like that. Into the clubhouse. You may be the only guy. <laughs> this is, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't, the security didn't stop me on the way in. I wear a tie. See, the coaches you've seen, they you don't gotta no look. More. You always look. I, I tried to dress up like you. Yeah, today. well, I didn't like, do it. Literally, do you have anything besides a blue tie? No, no, I have. I, you see what you do? Uh, the white shirt, yeah. solid suit, yeah. and then I mix up the tie. Oh, you but do you, you, I, could, I could say the same to you. I mean, same I'm projecting. Thing. This is that's a classic <laughs> political tool, right? Projection. Uh, all right, so 10 years old, let's say this is the 10 year old Gavin right here. And somebody says, You want to be. The GM of, a, of the Warriors or the California governor? <laughs> oh, that, 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 that's a no brainer. <laughs> GM of the Warriors. Are you, I mean, governor? That we don't uh, Actually, I would have, you know, prefer, I was a base, I was fanatic when it came to the, the, really? the Giants. Yes. Just falling asleep, listening to KMB yeah. every single night. That and was so, Jeff, who are those guys? I mean, Leonard, well, man. that was, the I mean, bonds. it was pre, oh, way pre Way before. Bonds. Yeah, I mean, I really got Will Clark with oh, yeah. obsession. Yes. Left hand, right? The yeah. sweetest swing in the world. Yes. Like obsession. Yes. Like obsession. Yes. But you don't even understand. Like, you I know you on the radio really, now. Do you know the interview? Do you hear him? He's great. He's, he's, he's a southern guy. And I still he's have him in the clubhouse when he's screaming. I mean, yes. come on. This yeah. is an iconic moment. Yeah. But that was a little older when, when he was, but, you know, come on. I mean, it's, it, it was the Warriors and, uh, and back in the Warriors were a different thing back yeah, then. Yeah, very right? different. I mean, the very city, different. it was a yeah. whole, it was a different, yeah. everything about it yeah. was different. And yeah. So, uh, including, you know, a little bit of, a little <laughs> bit of Rick Barry, Barry man. Yeah, this was one of the early days. We are that I'm was, aging myself. That's pretty good. But you're in San Francisco the whole way. Like, five, that's five, pretty, five pretty amazing. Five generations. Yeah. Five generations, San Francisco, Marina District. Yeah. Um, my great great grandfather was a cop. My dad used to say, I think the. The, the Irish cops were here before the city was even here. Uh, and then they moved to the Mission District, right. which was a very Irish part yeah. of San Francisco. Yeah. Now it's changed, obviously, yeah. a lot. But yeah. uh, no, it's in my heart and soul, And uh, even though I'm up now in Sacramento. But you could, I mean, I'm going to be honest. You could do this. You could do this. You could do the Giants. You could do. So at one, at one point in your life, what? when did you make this call to say, I'm going this direction? And I don't say that. I'm not trying to. No, I get know, it. I when mean, did you say, like, like I want to go this way? Who choose to be in politics, well, especially today? I don't know. Today. I, don't like, know. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, well, that's a good question. I mean, that's a, I'll, the I want to ask you that. there was a romance. Yeah, I want to ask you later, but first I want to ask you when you made that conscious decision to say, this is my path, it made I'm going to follow. It, 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 like so much in life, and I imagine for two-thirds of people yeah. watching, you know, life either happens for you or to you. I think it happened to me. The decision uh, was made for me. Uh, I was a small business guy right out of college, opened a little wine store down in the Marina District in San Francisco, and it took about two years to get permits. Yeah. I was yelling and screaming, what kind of city is this? Yeah. Worst place to do business. Yeah. And a new mayor by the name of Willie Brown yeah. was just installed and was sick and tired of me taking cheap shots. Yeah. So he decided to, quote, unquote, make me part of the problem and appointed me yeah. to the Parking and Traffic Commission. Yeah, okay. So here I am, it's like but, a But you said guy. yes to that, though. I said yes. You, so that's the well, inflection you, point. But right? It is the inflection Because you could have said, I'm building my winery. I'm not joining your thing. I you said it happened to you, but, but. You want to know the real story? Yeah, sure. Right, well, there's, sure. And there's the 30 seconds. He lied to me. He said, do you want to be on the film commission? And I said, <laughs> yes. See, now that makes sense. Totally, right? So I was like, this is the coolest yeah, thing in the cool. world. I'm like 20-some years committee. old. Yeah. I'm running my little wine store, yeah. and I'm going to be yeah. on the film commission. I love yeah. films. So I go down to City Hall. He's swearing everybody in. And I'm like, my heart's pumping because he's talking about everybody lining up at the beginning of his administration. And then he says, and then Gavin Newsom, the next president of the I was like, yes, president, why? I'm like, I'm president of the phone commission? This is amazing. He goes, president of the parking and traffic commission. Like, my stomach yeah. dropped. Yeah. I remember Cron 4 back then. It was the dominant news source oh, yeah. out here. Oh, yeah. said, what is your vision on parking and traffic? And I, like, I yeah, still I have an A-track tape. I That's still nice. have it because I was like great. on TV. I was like, this is so yeah. cool, yeah. where I stumble and, and made a joke about yeah. paying my parking tickets. Yeah. So he lied to me, yeah. pulled me in. Yeah. All of a sudden, inspiration, desperation, right? Yeah. Two driving forces of life. Yeah. You get inspired or you're desperate. Yeah. All of a sudden, that inspiration of saying yes to something I didn't get yeah. 
and now being desperate to figure out what I did get yeah. and being accountable and responsible as the chair of parking and traffic, I had to perform, and that meant just put my head down, take those same entrepreneurial skills I had as a small business person, or at least passion, uh, and, and that's what ultimately led to this pathway. So you're head of parking and whatever that yeah, is, traffic, traffic division. I okay, a little so, jealous. Yeah, no, no, I know you were I like wanted to be that guy. No, I was. I wanted that, to. Uh, but here yeah, I was. Yeah. I have a badge. See, yeah. You have rings. See, when I grew up, I have a parking. If I had, badge. if I, I, if, if things had broken right, I could have maybe gotten that job. You but may it never. Have. <laughs> uh, not an easy job to get, but I appreciate. It. I mean, you know, ch president is what's right. right. I'm just that's saying. Right, that's right. That's right. All right. So, so then you're, so, so you're there. Yeah. And it seems, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a stab here. Leadership qualities, you have those, right? You better have them. Right, but who, where from? Like, you, you talk about your mom growing up, yeah. and like what, it seems to me, reading a little bit about it, she was kind of a little bit of that, that beacon or that oh, compass man. for you. Yeah, no, I mean, one of the most indelible memories of my life was Joe Wagner Field. I'm a kid, we just moved to Marin County. I was bouncing around schools, horrible learning disability. When the first thing, when you brought 10 years old. Yeah, like, that I, was it, that was a time. Oh man, I was in the peak of anxiety, right. peak of insecurity, peak uh, of, you know, just feeling stupid, well, can I, stupid. Can, when you were going through that, were you faking confidence or were no. you actually really I mean, I shot okay, okay and that was my mom's biggest struggle single mom she's yeah. teenager when she's pregnant with me divorced a couple years later you know she just came wow. from nothing we're living in, in this small one bedroom apartment my sister and I she's got a kid that can't read can't write yeah. is going through speech therapy because we're learning right. you know I had a lisp early on she's having a hard time keeping me in school in, in San Francisco goes to Marin just to, out of desperation yeah. to get her kid a better education but then all of a sudden 10, 11 years old, you know, I was a little taller, left-handed, yeah. yeah. and I'm like, man, I could throw the baseball. Yeah. And now all of a sudden I'm pitching, minor yeah. leagues, major yeah. leagues. Yeah. All of a sudden I'm like, damn, I can yeah. hit. Yeah. But I remember, uh, talk about leadership, yeah. my mom, talk about a leader, and all single moms, right? And 100%. Talk about like, superheroes. You're married, like, it's a, I can't even imagine that. I mean, there's, yeah, single there's moms. Single moms. Yeah. And so she, you know, just never gonna give up on me, but I'll never forget, Joe Wagner Field struck out three times, classic, right? Yeah. I'm in right. I'm the, I'm the right yeah. fielder of the team, which is you're barely on the field. Like you're that's uh, right field. Right? That's where I they mean, stick the guy. And it's, okay. if, if, I was, I did if, that. if your kid's in right field, yeah, they're an amazing kid. <laughs> I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just saying right field. Yeah, I know. We know. And you know, you just your yeah. stomach's the pounding. You're like, please, place, please, yes. do not, no, do not hit you. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, good, one yeah. inning. Yeah. How many? How many innings? <laughs> Jesus, is seven innings. How many? Two hours is up. Anyway, so strikeout. Maurice Bigman, strikeout again, third time. I go home totally demoralized. My mom coming home from work. She's like, what's wrong? I'm like, no, I'm fine. And she's like, what happened? I tell her what's happening. I'm just crying. It's horrible. I'm like, I'm done. I'm quitting. This is the, I, it's the worst sport. I hate yeah. the coach. Yeah. You know, oh, it's yeah. everyone oh, yeah. else's yeah. fault, right? Yes. You know, it's just stupid. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yes. Stupid yes. game. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't want to play anyway. Right. But she pulls, she takes a bunch of baseballs downstairs and s drives me back to the damn field. It's empty that night. Really? And starts throwing to me. Ugh. Oh. And man, that's huge. And no, no BS, true story. I swear to God, true story. In fact, I did a children's book about my dyslexia, and it's in the book, so wow. I'm not making this yeah. up. Um, about a month later, Maurice is back again. Yeah. Home run. Really? Just pure luck. It's as if my yeah. eyes Close were closed, eye. yeah. yes. and somehow the thing hit the bat, changed my yeah. life. Really? Literally, like changed, like a moment can change your life. Yeah. Literally that moment, but it was really two moments. Is my mom not giving up on yeah. me? Master class of yeah. leadership. Yeah. yeah. Not giving up on yeah. someone. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and reminding me the power of hard work. Yeah. You don't, you don't deserve this. Yeah. You don't yeah. Get it. It's not yeah. gifted to you. Yeah. You know, nothing is. Yeah. You, yeah. You're, you gotta work. You gotta yeah. out yeah. hustle. You gotta yeah. outperform. And so yeah. having a hard time reading, not necessarily being gifted athlete yeah. early on, but recognizing that if I apply myself, I work my ass off, if I'm willing to make mistakes and not quit. Yeah. Which is yes, key, key, man. Then yeah. the sky's the limit, and so that was that, that changed. That's a changed trajectory in my life. So it's fascinating because you know, <clears throat> you're you're a parent of young kids. I got young kids. Fast forward to our lives. Your kid comes home. Mine. Yeah. I don't like this. This sucks. Do we do that? Do we do what your mom did? I know. Not not the. That's not, the. Pro but that's that made you. I know. This guy. It it is. Uh, there's nothing I struggle with more than being governor yeah. with four kids. Young kids, two young boys, two young girls. And, you know, Saturday, Sundays, it's, I'm not lying, it's seven yeah. different games yeah. competing yeah, yeah. Yeah. here, yeah. two yeah. hours there, yeah. which do I sacrifice? Yeah. 
and then during the week missing practices or missing games, yeah. having this damn thing on when I show up you have to at do a practice, that, that yeah. doesn't look so good, so yeah. I could quickly go to another thing. Yeah. And then like, yeah, dad, don't dad, even come. Yeah, that's tough. And so that's, that's just like regrets. How do you, regrets. because you're power, you know, not, you don't say it, I'll say it, very powerful job. Say you got daughter, son, they're mistreated, not, not in an abusive way, but, but they don't get to play or mm -hmm. they strike out or something, umpire bad call. Can, can you sit there and can you just? I'm good, my wife. I'm pretty good. My wife played, she was in the junior soccer team at Stanford. She yeah. was a rock star yeah. athlete, yeah. just yeah. excelled in she's, everything. She's, she's the one screaming. Oh, you can't me. even take it. I'm like, Jesus, you, you gotta can't become a coach. Yeah. You gotta you become a coach. Yeah. You can't be a mom yeah. anymore. Yeah. 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 You yeah. must yeah. coach. She just started coaching yeah. basketball. She's amazing. <laughs> no, I've, I've learned the hard way, man. I mean, especially in my job. Yeah. yeah. I just had a yeah. recall a year and a half ago. I mean, people are like, damn, we should have taken them yeah. out. Yeah. It, so it's like you take the abuse, but you also then learn. You just, yeah. you learn those moments. So I, I'm very quiet now on the sidelines. I'm not that guy. I have to be. Yeah. Plus, I'm hiding. I, you I, can't do it. With I try tie, to, yeah, no, I, I mostly don't wear the tie, but sometimes I do. That didn't yeah. go over well. That was a, so, so, so you, you're, we, 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 were, we were at parking. At yeah. what point did you... It's really hard to no, no, the, move on from the parking. The parking and traffic is It was the highlight. You're it's right. Fantastic. You could have stayed there. Could have. Maybe should have just that stayed there. Yeah, no. So you're there. Things and, haven't really improved. Yeah, things are... Yeah, I park in the city. Nothing... <laughs> nothing uh, Tickets are cost more a lot more. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so you're sitting there, and however long that was, something also happened. One night, one day, you said, you know what? I want to do... Like, I'm into this. I yeah. want to be mayor. Like, was that an epiphany thing, or just... Slow no, I mean, just roll. it was reps, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm conducting these meetings. I'm starting to appreciate things I never really appreciated before in terms of just process and responsibility as the chair to conduct and organize yeah. the meeting. Yeah, yeah. Just literally not yeah. having a clue when I'm yeah. like, when I say I don't have a clue, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Did you, so did, just, you did you make everybody think you did? Was that yeah. your skill? I had a script and I read and I absorbed. This is back to yeah. hard work, man. Yeah. No substitute. Yeah. Yeah. And I wasn't going to, was, and you know, my entire life is, Desperate not to be laughed at, yeah. embarrassed. And does that that stayed there then? Yeah, because you're succeeding. Like you're, yeah, past but you're the trying to always overcompensate because you're always that kid. You're always that ten year old kid. Everybody's laughing at because it couldn't Still. read. Yeah, really? you think I have a change? No, man, I'm the same kid. Wow. And you know what? So I have no sense for me. I don't deserve anything. Yeah. God, I I feel proud that I've earned it, yeah. and I'm humbled every yeah. guy like every day. Yeah. Humbled yeah. and constantly trying to iterate, figure out ways of doing that. And my critics, I have deep respect. I don't. Yeah. I don't despise the people yeah. that despise me. I'm yeah. learning every single day yeah. to not only absorb that, but also to understand that. Yeah. And it's hard because we're so divided now. It's never been worse, yeah. like at least in my yeah. lifetime. Yeah. And so there's a lot to absorb. Yeah. But more importantly, there's a lot to learn in the process. And to, you know, the process for me in terms of just that position yeah. led me to get an appointment a year and a half later to the County Board of Supervisors because I did my job. Yeah. I worked harder than anyone yeah. thought. Yeah. No one told me... I mean, it was like, it's no different yeah. than the, your best yeah. players. Yeah. Man. Everybody else is gone. Yeah. They're still on the yeah. court, or yeah. they've got their court at yeah. home, or they're yeah. out there yeah. in the playground, yeah. Yeah. and they're doing something. I was that guy. Yeah. There was nothing. The free throws didn't come yeah. easy. The batting yeah. didn't come yeah. easy. And so I'll do the extra 500. So I, and so everything I've, I have had to overcompensate, knowing there's not necessarily all these natural gifts. I got like 960 on my SAT. Yeah. I was going to community college, which was amazing. Yeah. But got lucky because a coach came down from Santa Clara said, hey, we heard, you know, you batted four something. Right, and, like, right. we, we're surprised we missed you. Yeah. You want to join late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I got into college. Yeah. It changed my life. But, but it was applying that, you know, applying sort of the rules of life yeah. with a mom that didn't give up on me and some success on the field and in, in basketball as well, build my confidence yeah. where I'm not good in classroom, but I'm pretty good at something else. And then... You know, trying and, and iterating, and, and then it led me to a mayor's race where I was pretty young. I mean, I was 30, yeah. I, was a, I think the youngest mayor in a century. Well, before that, I want to ask you a question about that, but when you're on the baseball team or <clears throat> whatever team you're involved in, business, baseball, sports at the time, did you lead then? I was never the, I was the captain only by default. I never, what do you mean, like a best I mean, player? I yeah, I okay. just became sort of in you that, but it wasn't the guy seeking that. You I, weren't? I was never pledged at a, yeah. a yeah. attorney. I never, when I was on the, the board of supervisors, tried to become president of the right, board. Right. It's, it's not my but, thing. But, but let's say you're in college and you're, yeah. everybody wants to go to get somebody to eat. Are you the guy that's like, we're going here? No. I'm you're the not. guy in the back of the classroom still. See, I don't think well, that that doesn't. No. No, I believe, I believe you because you're sitting here. But there's you don't a, seem like that guy to me. No, because I think, you know, there's a, there's a great old book about shooting an elephant. Um, and 
the author says, and it's his own life experience of how he was a soldier, and he was forced to do something he didn't want to do, and he said, I put a mask on, and my face grew into it. I see. I guess and it makes sense. It's sort of this, the mask yeah. you live in, there, that yeah. you become, right. you know, you, and so all of a sudden, you start in these positions. You start absorbing these new responsibilities right, and roles, sure. and you have a more collaborative mindset, but increasingly, people are looking, no, you have to make a decision. I'll tell you, there was, you want clarity on that, was all the stuff we all had to suffer through with, this, I know. with I know. COVID, I know. Right? I know. I'll ask you about Where you're too. quite literally, yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. you're the one making the yeah, decision. I know, I know. You don't get to scapegoat, yeah. abdicate, yeah. Yeah. and that's on you. So you ultimately, again, it's like yeah. anything in life, more reps, yeah. more responsibility, yeah. and it's just iteration, iteration, iteration. So, so big thing, and I don't need to, the politics of the same-sex marriage, but I want to yeah. talk about yeah. the night before. There's that moment of decision. Right? You talk oh, about yeah. a decision, yeah. or the day before. I don't know when it happened, yeah. where you looked around the room with four or five people, you go, we're doing this, this is what we're doing. What was that like, and was it that clear in your mind then, like, this is, this is so right and so clear, or were you kind of like, you know what, this, we're going to do this, but I'm, 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 it's scary, but I'm doing it. There were two things that happened. I just got elected mayor of San Francisco. It was right after, right? Right after. Yeah. And was having, the, you know, typical a mayor, you know, you have Nancy Pelosi, who's leader, yeah. our party, she says, you've got to come to D.C., all mayors do the mayor's conference, and happened to coincide with George Bush giving his final State of the Union right. before his re-election. And Nancy literally said, because I was meeting her earlier in the day, she says, hey, do you want to stay behind and, and go to the State of the Union? I was like, that would be amazing. Yeah. So she gave me her husband Paul's ticket, yeah. Uh, yeah. and I was up in the rafters, yeah. uh, and I'm there, sitting there, and the whole speech, you know, the war in Iraq, everything else, and it was about interesting. It was like, it was a little sense that it was talking about steroids and drug testing. Oh, wow. There's a lot yeah, going on yeah. in sports yeah, in, yeah. in San yeah, California, yeah. in San Francisco, yeah, notably yeah, at the yeah, time, if you yeah. recall. <laughs> um, and so I, I was like taking a lot of it yeah, a little more yeah, personally. Yeah. And then he ends the speech by talking about, you know, defense of marriage, marriage between yeah. a man and a woman, which is fine. Good yeah. people can yeah, disagree. Yeah. Right. But here's what happened. You have to give your cell phone up before you go in. Uh -huh early days of cell phones, yeah. but everyone had them. We were in a line, and this couple standing next to me, and I don't know who the hell I am, and they start, and I'll never forget, I never will forget it. One of them goes, that was just an amazing speech. I'm so proud of our president, and I'm just so sick. Aren't you so sick of that homosexual, uh, they said, homo the way they said it, yeah. homosexual yeah. agenda. Yeah. And I literally turned, I was yeah. ready to introduce myself yeah. as the mayor yeah. of San yeah. Francisco, yeah. and I didn't, and I, true story, I was supposed to go down to Nancy Pelosi's office right after. Yeah and uh, for the reception, yeah. decided to walk out, um, just complete different direction, got on that cell phone, called my staff, said we gotta do something. But no, something, I didn't, yeah, know, you didn't what. know what. And then came back a couple weeks later, and I'm like, I stood there, I said, you asked where I was standing, I swear to God. Yeah, I, I was myself. fascinated, you're like, do you I remember where you were? Physically, I could yeah, go you could, to we could go there right an now. inch. Yeah. Sitting in my That's office, the left, yeah. window looking out at yeah. Civic Center yeah. on the phone yeah. with someone I trusted and you said, when I said he, and he said to me he said why the hell are you here why do why do we work so hard to come oh, there wow. why the hell are you doing this yeah like, it was the why question yeah like not yeah. what and how yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. like honestly who, yeah. The, who yeah. are you yeah wow. like if you can't stand up for this yeah, yeah. why yeah. Are you here you're yeah. not worthy yeah, yeah. And, I, and it literally it was like this you, people yeah. talk about being congruent yeah you know, the yeah. greatest yeah, athletes, sure. like, it's, yeah. you're just, you feel it, yeah. you're emotional, yeah. you're sp the body, the soul, mm -hmm. like, it's a weird, yeah. it's a spiritual feeling. Yeah. It's just like, whew. Yeah. And that, it was that, and then it was three or four days of BS with, like, hey, I don't but know, but I knew. The decision was made. It was the execution. In my mind. Right. Yeah. And then it was all about execution. And the execution there was shocking, because we were just going to marry one couple. Yeah. We were going to do it before the courts opened, because they got word we were going to yeah. do it, and they were yeah. going to shut me down yeah. with a TRO. I didn't even know what a TRO meant. As a new man. Temporary restraining order. Yeah, you've had them. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, a I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I'll give you, I'll I give you that. I'll, okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> so I, but I, I like, okay, I'm, you're, you're not, yeah. You're, I'm exposing myself. Yeah, I'm like, mayor, yeah, I didn't yeah, know what the hell yeah, TRO right, was. Fine, I didn't go fine, to law yeah, school. Yeah, you yeah, know, I know, fine. 960 SAT, buddy. All right, all right. And so, and then, so they said, you get, so I said, well, we can open up before nine o'clock. The courts don't open until nine. I'm the mayor. This is amazing. And so we were going to marry one couple, Phyllis Lyon and Dell Martin. They've been together 50 years. Manifestation of faith, love, and devotion, yeah. what marriage should yeah. be about. Yeah. And then we were going to use their story to file a lawsuit. Yeah. Get them married. I didn't do the marriage because I, I, you, you wouldn't believe this. It wasn't supposed to be political. So I didn't do it. Oh, it sure. was the county clerk downstairs. Mm -hmm. I'm in my office. They come up. I sign the Constitution saying, Thank you for making these words 
visible and right. real. And we waited. Yeah. 901, 902. We had people at the court. And the yeah. judge comes back about an hour and a half later and said, there's no irreparable harm being done. Wow. And, then and that was, was just shocking, right? Like, that was shocking. Yeah. We just, we just were going we to do this not as a stunt, but to put a human face on a lawsuit. Yeah, like, so it's not a BS yeah, thing. Sure. And it was our shot back. And it was deliberative. We had legal folks around us. We were doing it in a way that was trying. And then we had the decision. No irreparable harm. Yeah. And we had all these other couples yeah. showed up and said, what about us? We're like, uh. Yeah. And like, OK. Yeah, yeah. So it was a few couples. Yeah. Next day, a yeah, few dozen. Yeah. And then third day, I'm driving to work. People were, people were coming from. I saw helicopters. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So yeah. I thought there was yeah, some yeah. accident or something. Yeah. Lines around the corner, yeah. thousands of people, 4,036 couples from 46 states and six countries. And it would have been 10x that had we not had so many death threats and yeah. we had to shut things down and do it in a very different manner. It was the most ennobling and extraordinary thing. And some of the images and memories I have, I remember this young girl. I, I, I didn't do many of the weddings until the end. Mm -hmm. and, I remember just my staff says, you have to walk in the rotunda. So you have to see this. Yeah. I'm like, ah, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I walk out and I, you get a mo And this little girl comes up to me. I'm looking around and she's tugging on me. Yeah. And she talk about it. I think she was probably 10 years old yeah. as well. And she goes and looks at me. She goes, thank you for giving me two mommies. Oh, I literally start yeah. crying yeah. in front of all the press. I turn yeah. around and walk right back in my yeah. office. And I'm like, if it ends tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah. people were talking yeah, about yeah. recalls Cause, then. Cause, yeah. Uh, Schwarzenegger yeah, and others. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm like, it's all worth it, man. Yeah. It's worth it. You know what's fascinating is like, you, in hindsight, I don't know what people look at it, but your conviction of the decision, like that part of leadership, where you yeah. said something pushed me, an innocent or what many would think, you just walk right past that couple that said that. Yeah. Something hit, and then you're on the phone and the why of it. Like, what are well, we doing? We all want to be loved. We all need yeah, to be loved. Yeah. Like, but that wasn't a moment where I think you felt you were going to get when you made this call, I just you got probably thought you were going to get it's the opposite. It was yeah, very unpopular were, yeah, you're in the gonna, city. That my wasn't, father, that, my old yeah. Catholic, Irish Catholic yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the yeah. preachers and yeah. pastors yeah, that yeah, were yeah, my yeah. biggest supporters. Yeah, yeah, they're out. They're like, we elected you to deal with a homeless problem, buddy. Yeah, yeah, Where'd yeah, the hell did this yeah, come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. Did you have a moment where you thought prior to, I guess afterward, I, even, even while it was happening, did you ever have a moment, if this goes bad, I'm done? Like, did you oh, have uh, a moment? I had, yeah, many. Oh, my God. I, I, it did was, it follow even after? Yeah. Well, you know what it followed after? It kind of like no BS. I, I mean, they tried to recall me last year yeah. in the States, sort of yeah. infamously. Yeah. When you have those moments, sort of those moments are just of clarity. Yeah. And again, like, good, good, yeah. and I respect good people yeah, who yeah. disagree. Yeah, have yeah. no, I'm not. Can't stand I'm it. less concerned about what yeah. people believe than right. the decision, then you, made, decision. Why you made. It. But when you believe something, you're sold. Like you literally. You're like, I'll go down for this one. Yeah, it's not intellectual, man. Yeah. It's like, yeah. again, yeah. what's your why? Yeah. Like, what is your why? Yeah. Like, why the, yeah. why, why the hell are you yeah. GM and the yeah. board? Yeah. Why yeah. you coach? Yeah. Why you care? to yeah. be the best player, why? Yeah. But what's the yeah. why? What's yeah. like deeply motivating? Yeah. For me, it's like standing up for ideals and striking yeah. out against injustice. And I figured that out decades ago. Yeah. In my businesses, I have 23 yeah. little businesses, yeah. 1,000 employees yeah. uh, we've created. I don't say that to impress, but impress yeah. upon you, entrepreneurial yeah. side of me. Um, you gotta find that, what's the why? The, yeah. the, the, when you make any hard decision, what's the prism to which then that decision is made for you sure. because you know yeah. that the question it has to answer is, yeah. this is why yeah. I'm here personally and professionally. Well, and I also simply, <clears throat> you said it better, I don't make these huge decisions you make, but I, I tell people I have to go to bed at night. Like, I have to go to bed at night. Same thing, man. Right? And it's yeah. kind of, it comes down Selfish. to like when I lay down, I got to feel good about me. Yeah. And then the other stuff comes or goes. Like when you were, when I was watching, I think I even texted you. When you were handling the COVID stuff, and you were every day, right? Was it every day you were out uh, there? Yeah. Every day. Yeah. There's... But I, I, you know what? I, it wasn't so much of what you said. I think what you did for a lot of people, or at least I only speak for myself, is you showed up. You yeah, stood sure. there. You stood there. Yeah. In an impossible. Like, what are you supposed to say? I mean, the information is changing every hour. They are. The, the scientists are saying one thing here, and they're doing their best. They're yeah, like they're bad everybody, people. Everybody. Everybody's trying. Everybody's Everybody's trying. upset. Of There's an undercurrent of tension. Yeah. And you showed up. Yeah. Which I thought was like, that's the leadership of this. Yeah. Now, whether you, I don't even know if you were right or wrong. I don't yeah. even care. Like, yeah. who, who, no, there is no right or wrong. Yeah, it's But hard. you're there. You're like, I'm here. Yeah. I'm answering your questions. Um, was that hard to kind of, was that? I mean, no BS. Yeah. Nothing more challenging than turning on ESPN. Yeah. 
and watching you guys when you're out there yeah. after you get your yeah. asses kicked. Yeah. Or you yeah. fell worse, I don't care about getting your ass kicked, when you should have won yeah, sure. and everybody yeah. fell short. Yeah. Yeah. Or those players yeah. that come up and have the guts to stand up and take yeah. the heat yeah. Yeah. over yeah. and getting yeah. pounded over yeah. and over. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Marshawn Lynch yeah. saying yeah. Yeah. over and yeah. over and yeah. over. Yeah. 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 And then they still have the guts, it yeah. keeps showing yeah. up. It's like 99% of life, man, just yeah. show up. Yeah. And that goes back to like when you have a learning disability, yeah. Yeah. that's people with dyslexia, they all know, and people that are struggling, with, you, you, there's there are multiple ways of yeah. going, man. If you can just work through it, you find these superpowers. Yeah. And by the way, you find the superpower over a season, just yeah. showing up and but it's working how through you that adversity. too, right? Because some people show up not well. Yeah, they show up, and by the way, doesn't mean you're perfect. I'm infamously yeah, yeah. not. I mean, I made some yeah. damn mistakes, but you also own the mistakes. Yeah. You own up to the mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. confront them, and then you also confront the, why the hell did I make that mistake? Yeah. What yeah. was I thinking? Yeah. And then you recognize, look, I mean, just, I'm not trying to model perfection. Yeah. That's not on any yeah. menu. Yeah. But I am trying to model, um, I, there's this, look, I'm proud of this. And just, I don't want to get into the politics and merits and merits, but it's interesting. New study just came out, 58% less per capita deaths in California yeah. than Florida. And our economy outperformed. Yeah. Yeah. It contracted less in 2020, and it expanded more yeah. last year. 7.8% yeah. 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 GDP. Yeah. It was one of the fastest growing GDPs in the world. Yeah. So on health and wealth, yeah. we yeah. outperformed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of that. Yeah. So I think we made more right decisions than yeah. bad decisions, yeah. but I'm human but in, and in, in, humble. In it, you took a lot. You take the, you, it's almost like when you say um, the showing up, it's showing up, understanding. I'm walking into a place where I cannot this is not going to go, like, I can't answer all, like, I can't win this. You know, I, this is a, a fight I can't PPE, win today. PPE, PPE, yeah, yeah, yeah. PPE this, right, antigen yeah. test versus right. PCR. Yeah, we we yeah, all yeah. experts at, I mean, I know you knew what a TRO yeah, was, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. did you know did what the difference between an antigen and we a actually, PCR? Gavin, every day, I don't, did you have this? Every day we showed up here to get to test. Oh, yeah, you actually we had to, we, we were here, like I was. Yeah. <laughs> you actually yeah, led PCR, the, yeah, I had our levels. You class. Yeah, I had the whole thing. But but in any event, I admired that moment of, not, I didn't, look, sure, you care what the content is, but I cared about the person who stood up there and said, you could, you could almost sense, here they come, and they're coming for you. Oh, man. And, and you, got, you got, I can't fight this one. I'm giving you what I have, which, which wasn't, for me, it was enough. But we're you know. all, we were all so damn. We still are. Yeah. We're still, I mean, yeah. talk about not having come to, I mean, we, yeah. none of us have really, I, yeah. I, I, I call total BS on those, say, oh, yeah, I turned the page on that. We're all, no, it's, everybody it's went there. through yeah. deep yeah. trauma, man. Kids, deep parents, deep trauma. Yeah, 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 and we haven't come to grips with yeah. all that fear, all that stacking of stress yeah. and anxiety that we all went through, personally, professionally, yeah. people we love, people yeah. have not ever been the same, businesses, yeah. have, I mean, the whole thing. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's just hard. Anyway, everybody has to, I think, just for a moment, pause and reflect on the journey we've all yeah. been through together yeah. and reflect on how also resilient we are. Yeah. But here's what I, for me, this, for me, nothing more important than this. And again, from the prism of leadership. Yeah. It's not, you know, I used to think, honestly, if you asked me a 10 year old what leadership is, it would be about command and control, selling down my vision, yeah. power, yeah. Yeah. dominance, yeah. aggression. Yeah. Yeah. For me now, man, after everything we've yeah. just gone through, it's about empathy, empathy yeah. and it's about yeah. care, collaboration, yeah. Yeah. partnership. Do people respond, I mean, I hear you, but then you see some of the leaders we follow and you, you, I'm with you, like the empathy to me, but like what is the public responding to? Because unfortunately that, that idea or model of leadership resonates with a lot of people. It does. That, 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 that kind of like beat you over the head. Yeah. Um, I don't understand, personally don't understand it's that a, part. Situationally it does. But I mean, it's no BS. I mean, look, look at this organization. You, you see Steve Kerr up there? Yeah. Is he about power, dominance, no. and aggression? No, Give me no, a, no. And, and who's dominating in the NBA? Yeah, who's, yeah. No, yeah. you're not dominating. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what was a, I think it was Orson Welles, don't give them what you think they want, give them what they never thought was possible. That's, That's what you guys yeah. are, are yeah. doing. Yeah. So you're redefining that from yeah. the perspective of empathy, care, and collaboration. Those are the, that, those are the, the hard yeah. powers. Yeah. And the hard truth is, politically right now, yeah. you're sure. right. Yeah. That's not a short-term. Sure. Strategy. The yeah. short-term strategy yeah. is just pick up a crowbar and put yeah. it in the spokes of the wheel of the other party, yeah. trip yeah. them yeah. up yeah. and step all yeah. over them, define the narrative, define the terms of debate, illusion rules, yeah. facts don't matter. Yeah. And you know So and, in that and, environment, and how do you lead how do you hard? Yeah, right? This is brutal. Narrative is dominating facts. And I keep going back to narrative. Narrative matters. Performance matters to you. You got win loss, you got a scoreboard. Yeah. Performance matters on election day for us. But it's everything that happens in between the election where I don't think 
either party right now is performing as we should. And electorally, one party's falling short, my party right now, because we're not dominating the narrative. And that has to change. But when you use even that word, right, you don't, like you, I respect what you just said about dominating. And I don't, like, like you said, our best player doesn't project dominance, Steph Curry. He's beloved, but he, do, he does dominate. He does. But dominate. you don't know he's dominating you while he's yeah. down. It's a different kind of domination. Yeah. But when you have to, you have to, like you said, I have to win. You have to win. I mean, that's the goal. Yeah. But how do you win without compromising? You just can't. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, there's the old adage, I think it's an African proverb. You want to go fast, go alone. You want to yeah. go far, yeah. you got to go together, yeah. man. Yeah. So you can win fleeting victories at other people's expenses. But that's, that's not triumphing. Yeah. Triumph is when you look around and there's other folks to celebrate yeah. with, man. Yeah. And, I, I, and so I think you know, win for what sake? You, how do, I don't know how some of these guys sleep at night. Back to yeah. sleeping at night? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I honestly don't know. By the cruelty and yeah. the bullying yeah. of people yeah. with developmental disabilities? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you had one governor in one big state who said, I'm going to fine them $27 million Special Olympics. How do you live like that? That's tough. You know, what you can say or yeah. who you love, and all of a sudden you, you, you're othering people. Yeah. You're yeah. demeaning people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, honestly, yeah. you may win, who cares? I yeah. mean, honestly, there's no nobility no, 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 in that. No, no, yeah. There's nobility yeah. in sort of perennial truths that, yeah. that reveal themselves over time. Yeah. And so I think, you know, it's, a, it's about so, moving away from a situational mindset to a sustainable so, mindset. So as a leader, and you're, you have goals to keep leading and keep changing for the good, a question's put in front of Gavin, or, or in, in my parlance, to make it simple. Bob, I'll give you a championship but you gotta do this. And it's something you know you can't, like I'm not doing, I'm not doing it that way. Even in my business, or certainly in yours, there's a lot of people that go, you mean I, gotta, I just gotta do that and I can win? Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. And, 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 then, and then they do sleep. I, mean, look, I don't know, they probably don't, I suppose. No, but I think but you that's, know what I'm saying? Like, I think what, the hardest Gavin, part is they do. be this, but you gotta do that. I think that is the hardest part. I mean, I, I see the cruelty of what's happening. I mean, you know, forget again the politics, but. You know, going into another state, misrepresenting that you're going to take care of people, sending them to an island to make a political point. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. Republican governor, yeah. taking vulnerable people. You may, may not like our immigration policies. And by the way, our immigration system is broken and needs to be fixed. Yeah, right. But to exploit people, young people, as young as your own kids, yeah. a young girl with a backpack. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, they're winning. They are winning. Yeah. And, I, and I assume they are sleeping well at night. So you're right. I mean, that's something, that's something all of us have yeah. to sort of ask ourselves. Yeah. Uh, who are we? Yeah. Because society becomes how we behave. It's not an abstract. Yeah. I mean, it's it literally, I remember there's a sign, there's a great sign, up, and it was in Washington State, and it's the equivalent of the 405 in LA or yeah. the 101 yeah. here or the 80. It says you're not stuck in traffic. And you're like, dude, it's a literally billboard. You're not stuck in traffic. You're like the dumbest <laughs> thing. And so 25 minutes Later, you get about 80 yards closer to the billboard yeah, yeah, in traffic, yeah. and you look up, and in parentheses, it says, you are traffic. Yeah, it's pretty good. Makes you think, yeah, man. Yeah, Society right. comes how we behave. Yeah, yeah. It's like, honey, yeah. I'm not. You yeah. are traffic. Yeah. It's yeah. what we do, yeah. all of us. So we're, you know, the world that exists, we created. Yeah. We did. Yeah. It's yeah. not someone yeah. else's yeah. manifestation. Yeah. It's our collective yeah. manifestation. Yeah. I think that's also a part of leadership paradigm, yeah. too. That it's not the guy or guy on the white horse that's going to come save yeah. the day. It's not about the person in position of formal authority. It's those that have moral authority. Yeah. And moral authority is something we all have. The question yeah. is, do you express it in abundance? Do you share it? It's not position that creates power. Yeah. None. Yeah. I mean, Gandhi, Martin Luther yeah. King, yeah. Lakov Havel, yeah. um, Mandela, yeah. peak of their influence, yeah. they all are in prison. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, three out of the four never yeah. served a day in elected yeah. office. They changed yeah. the world. My yeah. point being, you don't have to be something to do something. And I think all of us have to recognize our own relationship to leadership yeah. and our responsibility to be leaders in our own right. Yeah. Have you been betting with the Caesar Sportsbook and Casino app? If so, keep it up because every bet earns with Caesar's rewards. That means win or lose, you're getting closer to amazing perks like game tickets, free stays, bonuses, and more. And if not, well, when you get started, your first bet is on Caesar's. Register with promo code Omaha Full and place your first bet up to $1,250. If you win, congrats. If you don't, you'll get your stake back as a free bet. Biggest, can you say, regret? I, I think, you know. I, it, While leading, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, look, there are a lot of there are a lot of there are a lot of tactical regrets yeah, and, yeah. and stupid decisions, yeah, right. dinners. You know, like I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't. 
on my epitaph. If that's your biggest regret, regret, then Jesus that's, Christ, yeah, yeah, I, I get yeah. it. <laughs> okay, and you know, I don't want to belabor that. Right. So yeah, there's those kind of yeah, things, yeah. personal things, you know, in, in life, you know, just life. Yeah, life, sure. Right, certain yep. linear. Yep. Yeah, uh, life is life. Yeah. But my biggest regrets, I think, when I'm sort of stacking them, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not, not like 90 them. yet. Yeah. I'm not yeah. retired. No, I, know. I, know. I feel like I'm just yeah, getting yeah. started. But is in the spirit of Michelangelo who said. I love it. What, I lo he said, the biggest risk in life, I think about this with the excellence of this organization. The biggest risk in life is not that we aim too high and miss it, it's that we aim too low and reach it. Yeah, right. And I think back in, this, in my life, personal, professional, business, not just in political terms, I think back to stuff, man, we reached that goal, but I don't think that's yeah. who we were capable yeah. of being, yeah. even in a, in a season, right? Yeah. Even in terms of your own individual performance, yeah. whatever yeah. it may be, or your relationship. Yeah that sometimes we settle for less than we ever know we're possible of being. And that's why it's so important to keep iterating and stretching. And that's why it's important to constantly, yeah. constantly, you, there's no having made it, right? Success yeah. is a, not a place or a definition, it's a direction. Yeah. And I think the best organizations, the best leaders understand that. Yeah. It's manifest here yeah. um, by definition, demonstrably yeah. so, but it doesn't manifest itself everywhere. Yeah. Last one, <laughs> if I ask your maybe older kids, they're pretty young now, what kind of leader is your dad? Uh, what are they going to say? I don't know. I, uh, or was your that's, dad? A, yeah. that's, a, that's a question that gets me a little emotional, man. Yeah. I honestly yeah. I felt like. Um, because it, here's, here's why I ask. Here's why there's, I nothing, ask. there's no more important question to me. Here's why I ask. No one's asked. Yeah. Because I, we all have a different definition for success, yeah. right? Yeah. My definition is for the people that know you best to love you the most, right? So yeah. it all crashes. Yeah. Or, or it all goes great. And the people that you know the best, I always look at these 30 for 30 sports documentaries or music videos, and the last person in the interview is the kid. And the kid goes, I didn't really, he wasn't around. Oh man, I know, brutal, right? Yeah. But, but society loves the guy. I know. So what, what, are they, what, are they, what do you and, hope and, they and, say, and, I suppose? And, and whoever you, that guy or gal is, they have one goddamn regret. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's that, that. It's that. They don't know that. And yet we're so, yeah, uh, like, right. Like it, it's as if life degeniuses us, yeah, I know. right? We're all kind of. Yeah, at the end you're like, so obvious, but I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't, didn't see or it. I chose not yeah, to see it I because yeah. I was quote unquote pulling, yeah. justifying, I was yeah, sacrificing. Right. Everybody else think I was time. doing great, except for my kids. Yeah, it's look, that's why the, the question sort of stops me in my tracks in this respect, that it's the ultimate question. I mean, it's the ultimate, what was the purpose of your life? I mean, at the end of the day, and, and, if, and if it, it, you know, look, I, I just, for them, I want nothing more than this. I want them to be decent, honorable people that respect other people regardless of their differences. I want them never to look down on people, talk past people. Yeah. I want them to be humble. I want them to be empathetic. I want them to give a damn about the world they're yeah. living in. And if I can leave any of that yeah. as an example, a shred of that in their lives through the example that is my life, man, That's great. I'll feel like my life was worth living. That's great. That's awesome. I appreciate it. That was awesome. I Thank appreciate you. you. Thanks for having me, man. <laughs> Thank you.